get to that level of shooting, you have to be successful. Oh, yeah. I always say like, oh, yeah. it's hard to do something like that and not look like a hater. But then when you look you, at when you look at the stats and the numbers he's put on the board, you say, hey, well, you can't put this down to hatery because usually that's what you have to do, a hater, and you keep it moving. Mm. Someone, he's established. Even when the comedians are clapping back, people are saying, still top five. Even yeah. in the even in how they feel right now, when they're trying to shoot back at him, they're like, "No, nah, don't get me wrong, he's still top five, but at the same time, he shouldn't say this and that." And you're just like, "Right, you lot really can't take the respect off his name. You can't take the <laughs> and that's and that's why it became more." You having an unnatural allegiance to losers does not like you. <laughs> that's how we started this pod fam oh wow that's how we started this yo pod. is that what we did expect foolishness we're back for another week let's cook bro sweet wait is that straight that? Out, in. Of, out the game you have an allegiance to losers and it's not wow. like you you know i like the fact that you started come on. the pod like that come on Listen, bro expect foolishness there's a lot to talk about 2024 now, I, wait hold on let me say it to this camera uh, right now do you do, if bro. you want to hear what we think of the eps Dean List, go straight to Patreon. We're not doing it here. That's over there. If you think you want, if you want to hear what you think about Jonathan Majors <laughs> in that situation, straight over there. Go over there. Absolutely. We know because again, we have to protect ourselves, bro. At what? least, at least, if we're gonna put ourselves That's on the line, it's because you're scared, isn't it? Behind the paywall, you scared. No, I'm saying behind the paywall. I hear it still. We're gonna make jokes that are not like we're gonna make jokes in it. That are not what you think what okay to make. Well, I'm well, so if I, to say. my eyesight means wait, wait, hold on, chill, chill, chill. Because I'm, I'm, I'm on that. I'm, a, I'm, I'm glad to know that's what you're on. Because I'm on that. I'm pissed. I'm coming into this pod today, pissed off. Yes, yeah? so I got a little steam, bro. What happened, bro? Listen, right now, literally right now, yeah. man's waiting for AA to pull up. But why <laughs> did you again? So shut what happened, up, man? Just shut up. It's but just you a, gone. Tell it's us. a dumb situation. Oh, I just got out of control, man. What happened? What happened? There's a car in front of me at a traffic light. They man got into some car accident. So there's a van. You saw another car accident. There's a car accident in front. They it happened before I got there. Okay. Yeah. There's a van behind them, and I'm behind the van. Mm. The van mounts the pavement, goes around, calls. I'm thinking, yeah, run it. Get onto the pavement. Right wheel was on. Everything's going cool. Misjudged where the left wheel was going. I've hit the inside of my wheel against the curb, and there's some little, like little side wheel damage on my tire. So I'm waiting for that to get fixed. So. Yeah, dumb, well, dumb but, move on my part. Why did you? Why didn't you just wait? Dumb move on my part. We're not going to break down the mistake. It was a stupid decision. I made the mistake. It's crazy. And now we what? move. So when you did it, like in your head, this guy was, was a you using nitro. <laughs> Family, it's ready. Just, just out of curiosity, what did you watch him. before the start he, of your journey? You know, he did it. I and mean, what music was you? Anyhow, our head gets. What was he listening to? I was on the phone to my brethren. So you did that one. You know what the worst thing was? <laughs> this is him. Ah, oh, that sounds mad. <laughs> I was like, shut the. You know? <laughs> I'm thinking, brother. Um. <laughs> hey, you know when you hear through the phone? One time I was, I was speaking to Wale, yeah, and he goes, um, Wale goes, yeah, your clutch is gone. <laughs> not, bro, the over, bro, not the bro. audio diagnosis. Not the audio one. Wale, I said, because when you was getting through it, I said, cool, Wale, I promise you he knows what's going on. Even when he came in, he said, yeah, the beaded. He said, is it the beaded? He Fam, said, yeah, when when I started talking about beaded, I goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, the inside wheel was kind of just, he's like, the bead. Yeah. And I'm there Googling the tire dynamic. So I see bead, I'm like, yeah, that's the, that's the part. And they're like, do Wally not, they're always, like, and it says, do not drive with this. Wally always, that's the part about Wally that is good as a friend, yeah. He just and knows. he's a car guy, but it, it's, it, he's going to deliver bad news. Bro, why do we do this? You know when you crash or you have something wrong with your car, why do you hold your breath to look at what the damage is? We know when you go around yeah, it. Yeah, you do the, and the matter thing is because <laughs> the stuff in the wheel, you don't really know the parts that are on the internal. Yeah. So I'm just there looking at from the outside thinking, yeah, it looks, looks calm still. Like I can't see nothing hanging off. I'm like, yeah, I don't know what, I don't no, know what no, I'm no, looking no. at. He said straight away, no, no motorway. Fam. <laughs> he said no motorway, bro. He said no motorway, fam. Bro. I was like, bro, you never know. Like, yeah. yeah. Still, just you know what I think still. about the tire damage and the motorway specifically is, you ever been like driving down the, the road or on the motorway and you've seen a tire carcass just there? Don't ever call it a tire carcass, but I understand it. I always wonder <laughs> that's what why. It's the carcass. <laughs> that's what it is. But it just feels kind of Serengeti. It feels yeah, kind of wild. Right. Like carcass is, again, something carcass, died. Carcass, you know. The carcass of the tire. Go on. So what, yeah? That's a tire yeah, you carcass. Just, you just see it at the side. I just think, uh, 
That was a, that was a mad moment. Yeah, like because you could just it's like literally just seeing a rubber band. Yeah, there's no, no sidewall. It's just the outside. It's Think of what all that extra, oh, bro, the underneath scraping the, oh, you be the body, actually, the body kit. <laughs> you better just wait for your, and your killer is, I'm absolutely. Your car's, it's a proper nice looking car. Bro, yeah. I'm waiting. It, it's one of those cars that you, it feels like Tokyo Drift, bro. It's too much car for you, man, that's what it is. It is, isn't it? Dickheads. Both bro, why, do you know what? Get a Prius. Shut up, man. You yeah, know, it, hey, you know what the baddest thing is about talking about getting a Prius? I can't, I, basically one time, yeah, when I was living in, um, up in Kilburn, yeah, I called an Uber. <laughs> no, I called an Uber. And I'm just waiting. Bro, I see a Prius pull up. I get out, jump straight in the car. I'm sitting there. Duh, duh, duh. This brother, look, he's just looking. <laughs> bro, this, this white guy turned around. He's looking at me. He's like, but like, I can tell there's like fear and it's like, it's a weird look. And I'm just like, Travis. <laughs> Come on, <my> <laughs> This guy's like, <laughs> this guy's like, you're in my car, mate. I was like, hold on, wait. I got out of the car. <laughs> bro, I was disgusted. You know, why are you driving a Prius for fun? <laughs> You're not even, <laughs> bro. bro I, Priuses are not just Ubers, bro. bro I'll you tell crazy. you, I was, <laughs> no, I was inside this car <laughs> looking at my thinking, and in that moment, I'm thinking, I haven't seen one of those little registered cab guy signs. <laughs> Like, oh, this car's looking very personal. Why would this, bro, bro this guy wants so to get his kidnapped? Fault. Why is his car you, unlocked? You, bro. Just sitting there like a duck, bro. You've you had this energy. You've had this energy since that trip. You know how bad it is for me to you be want looking to at him like, like he's wrong. Yeah. Why do you want to be taken so much, bro? This is every single time, bro. In the other country, you did this before, bro. You've got into an unmarked, unmarked Prius, fam. You just thought, yeah, this could be it. Had a great time. Don't you read the thingy and match up and look yeah, at the registration plate, man. brother. I was late for work, yeah. Overslept. It was one of them mad erratic ones. I've called the Uber, seen it's a Prius outside. <sighs> but there was a lot of telltale signs. Got out. Was it even the right color? Let's not be, let's, do, let's be, there was telltale signs. You said the guy oh, was, there was what? Absolutely. What color was the guy? White guy. Okay. That's racist. That profile, that profile is crazy. Don't you, don't you think? Wait, if, all right. Let's 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 play the game in it. You wait. The car comes. He's a car right. comes to your house. A car comes to your house. You see a white guy. You're like, oh. Well, it's like not a seven. It's not. It's not, bro. It's not. It's not. It's not Addison Lee. It's not the E class. It's not Addison Lee. No, it's not Addison Lee. Yeah, it's not and a it's a not a black tax. It's not a black taxi. So Aren't on. you like raw? Like, but what? Your bridges ain't doing this so, though. So you're still. Your stereotype. No, because you're so you're, so wait, so you are agent. So you walk into a news agent and he's a white guy. All of a sudden, what are you saying? You're uncomfortable. Again, I'm like, right. No, I'm not uncomfortable. We used to be a country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even uncomfortable. I'm like, swear down. This what you did. I've got questions. I said, swear I down. Just, I could just like hear sun newspapers ruffling. <laughs> 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 no, but. No, there's you. certain things that you just like. You know what you expected. Like, yeah, no. Even, even there's certain places you don't expect to see certain groups. And it's like, it's just what is it? Like, there's a Chinese um, takeaway on my side. And I went there to to pick up the Chinese one time, right? Yeah. And I said they had no delivery drivers. Yeah. And it was a white woman behind the counter. And I was just like, hmm. So you don't go past this bit. But I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking, I've ordered Chinese from here before and it bangs. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you think so it's like, not gonna be nice now? No, but I was just no. like, no, but it's one of the ones you piece it together like, so what are you saying? This Consistency. Is your, this is your authentic dish. Yeah, yeah. How, how do you know? <laughs> How do you know these? Like, can but I, can you know I see what? who's in the kitchen? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go, go open, right open the door because I don't need to. But you know what's funny? When you say this, yeah, bro, I was handing out CVs one time and I was down bad in it. Hold on. Did you go to the Chinese room? <laughs> <laughs> it's a vacancy. Did they take it? No. <laughs> wait, wait. Did you want to work inside or? The, the, the I room? wanted a job. Bro, That's what I wanted to I work. I needed to work. <laughs> you never handed in your, vi- um, your, your thingy in the shop. They're like, nah, they're not hiring you. You know, some shops are like, Sometimes they believe in nepotism. It's strong, bro. Like, why can't I get a, hair, a black a, 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 a job in a black hair shop? I, I've been in there, tried it as well, because I went crazy. I was literally, you know, when you go into that part of that town where it's still kind of, it looks like an arcade, these old school shops, those kind of ones. Yep. Yeah, I went, I was desperate. I needed a job. I started cafes, you know, places that it's oh, not wow. for my thing. Not for my <laughs> cafes. Thing. What was that market that was in Peckham? They used to be East like Street. indoor. East there, was Street. No, there, was, there was like an indoor market. In Peckham, yeah, though. yeah, like the, one of those ones. Agora, Agora market or something. Like one, that? Of, but like that, one of those ones, and I just handed out my. And they was like, nah, it's not that, bro. But I should be allowed to work in a black hair shop. I've done that. I though. mean, I've, it's for us. I remember I handed it a CV, but I, it was it was designed to be bands. I handed in a CV in a in a Chinese takeaway, and the woman just smiled away. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a smile like come on 
But that's bad though. Um, that's it, bad. It is what it is. It is what it is. Let's go, man. What kind of we we've been dodging it right now. We're not really dodging it, but Cat Williams. Cat Williams. He's yeah. done the he's done the comedian version of the control, um, Kendrick's control. The Kendrick control. I would call it like Nas Efa. That's how it's feeling in terms of how it's gone out to the where so we've all seen it. Wale, you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. I've all seen right, it. cool. Trav, go ahead. Well, what's your um first thoughts? My first thoughts, yeah. I love the energy. Mm. Like, I feel like you can get an understanding of my character. Yes. <laughs> um, I like the smoke in it. Yes. The only the only part of it where I was just like, ah, oh, it's a shame these men have beef because I do like both of them. You yes. know what I mean? That's the only part where I was like, ah. But at the same time, I'm like, you don't have to be friends. It is what it is. You, you two men, don't have to be. I'm you don't cool have to be friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I can still enjoy it. <laughs> but, yeah. But when you look, see each other, what's happening? Like, I got boxing enjoyment in my yeah. DNA, in it. I like sometimes fighters that I both I like both of them. I'm like, are you man scrap though? I'm, I'll be there to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how I felt watching this thing play out. But it's one of the ones where I'm like, you know what? In this industry, yeah, you you do get encouraged to chill, and you know people don't air their grievances. They just kind of hold it and charge it to the game, and da 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 da. Because you don't know when you're. You, you don't, don't know. know when you might need that, uh, someone and, else. And so, sometimes your what you feel is wrong. In terms of just you feel triggered, but it's, the trigger's not. It's not really that for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but true. It's, you've you've just been carrying this. So when you watch someone just shoot, 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 you're just looking, thinking that must have felt nice. Yeah, <laughs> to just get that off your chest, bro. But then you know, to get to that level of shooting, you have to be successful. Oh yeah. I always say like, oh, yeah. it's hard to do something like that and not look like a hater. But then when you look you, at when you look at the stats and the numbers he's put on the board, you say, hey, well, you can't put this down to hatery because usually that's what you have to do, a hater, and you keep it moving. Mm. Someone, he's established. Even when the comedians are clapping back, people are saying, still top five. Even yeah. in the even in how they feel right now. When they're trying to shoot back at him, they're like, no, don't get me wrong, he's still top five, but at the same time, he shouldn't say this and that. And he's just like... Right, you lot really can't take the respect off his name. You can't take the, <laughs> and that's and that's why it became more interesting because mm. you couldn't dismiss what he was saying. Those there's some things don't get twisted. When he said he read like three thousand books at the age of what do you call it, I was like, come on, three thousand books thing. Three thousand. But books you know what? I, you know what I hate? Yeah, is that in this life, yeah, if you ever put your head on a block like that, it's got to be perfect. Otherwise, it will be dis like dismantled. Yeah, like. In that same interview, right, he talks about Cedric stealing his joke. Yes. It, when he starts talking about the dates of when it's happened, there's a part where he missteps and goes, you know, I did the joke in 2018, 2019 is when you man did the thing and 2020 is when it came out or something like that. And then man just let it go. That's clearly a misstep as far as yeah. where the dates go. So I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, this man is in his 50s, yeah? There's going to be times when men make mistakes with the stuff yeah, they're yeah, saying. Yeah. So once he's hit the 3,000, I'm thinking to myself, you probably mean 300. Yeah. But you know, yeah. there was there where it's just like, they're going to cook you for it though. Cause 3,000. 3,000 books is, is out of this world. But then when he saw about running fast yet, and then I saw the video. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> <In> for something. <laughs> bro, <laughs> he was running like the Terminator. <laughs> I said, I don't care how fast you think you're going. Don't run like that. <laughs> Stop running like that, man. Count Williams, yeah. You know the people that like, they just what I, thing is what's mad for me is obviously the sensationalized aspect of this interview yes. made it cook, but there were some beautiful moments. Absolutely, where he's just outlaid his whole life, and you watch it, you think to yourself, "I would have never guessed you were this type of person." Absolutely. So I, I just thought, you know, what I mean, well, obviously we with the, the the sensationalized part was fantastic, like internet traction content. Yeah. But there was really beautiful stuff going down the line. Absolutely. So yeah, man. But let's let's really talk about this, the 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 shits though. Yeah. Let's get into the shits. Because when men start talking about the joke teeth thing, yeah, I was watching that. I was thinking to myself, the comic in me is absolutely loving this because you see certain times, yeah, jokes. Listen, joke stealing is rife. It but the hurts, thing about man. the the thing about the joke stealing thing, yeah, is that as comics. You kind of just know you just got to charge it. There's no real way to do it. I've seen some cases online where men have done the strong side by side, get into his mentions and let him know that they, that's a that's a strong attack. Mm. Yeah. But for the most part, men know the audience don't care. They don't the give audience a if do you're so care. I've seen someone, I've seen someone's joke be stolen, them call the person out. UK. 
Fair them called the person out, and then the person that wrote the joke was called a hater. He was he he was called the, he's, you be a hater, bro. What? How then, am I hating for you t- taking my joke verbatim, fam? But then I've seen cases where man would just go, yeah, but his one was he did it better though. Yes, you just look at it thinking you don't understand. That's mine. <laughs> but I tell you, I tell you what, just to give people insight, right? Because I know it seems like oh, like you could just have the same idea, and it's like. You've got to really understand the journey of joke creation, it's, right? Yeah. The way this thing starts, I've got a joke. I could even do a side by side of what it looked like in the first time I told it to the finished product of what it became when I yes. put, did it on TV. Now, I can I'll I li- I tell you what I'll liken it to you because comics will get this an instinct. Well, there could be a convo you're having and da 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 something you just say and you just go, huh, that's a that's a thing. It's that's funny. a. I'm gonna make a note of that and return yes. to that thought later because there's something there. Yes. Then you try it on stage for the first time. Mm, wasn't quite there, but there's something. Keep now going. that I've put it out, there's something I know it is. Then you finally polish it, right? I liken it to, let's say if you were looking for treasure in like these random places, you're knocking on the wall and you're looking for the hollow bit to start yeah, digging. Yeah, yeah. You go bow, rah. Okay, cool, let's start digging. You dig, you get yeah, right yeah, down yeah, to yeah, the thing. Yeah, 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 you yeah, get yeah. this thing and you're standing there with this gold in your hand thinking, Look at that. I knew something was in there, yeah. you know. You could tell. Remember when I said it? And yeah. then someone just goes, And that's when the teeth, that's when the teeth, <laughs> when it's not even finished complete, that's when the teeth take it, bro. But uh, they take it and they stand there and people gather around and go, That is fantastic. Yep. And you got to sit there and watch this moment yeah, happen yeah, yeah. and just and you can't it, watch it. back to the wall and try yeah. and find my thing. Because that's how, that's how aggravating it is. Bro, comics have been beat up for this, you know. Bro. Bottled. Yes. Outside comedy store, bro. I've, men have been banged in their face, and bro. men have said, "You're taking food out of my mouth, bro." I've had many a jokes taken, <laughs> bro. I, I've, I, I mean, bro, I've experienced this. It's, it's horrible because even when you're watching the performance, because you might be on the, you might happen to. They know what they're doing as well. People that teeth in jokes. Mm. What they do is they don't expect you to be at that show. <laughs> Somehow you're at the show, mm. and you're. You're listening to something. You're like, "Raw, this is familiar. That's not me. I'm not on stage, bro." Oh, you know that moment. And I even feel aggrieved. Yeah. And then your family, because if you're doing your job and your family's watched you, they turn and be like, "Cause they're now looking at you to say we recognize this." Did you know my man? Is the- this? Uh, did you? Did you say you could use? Bro, that? I even feel aggrieved when I see people steal jokes from comics who I know. Not, if it, not if it, as in not I know the comics, but I know the jokes. It could be famous people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I see someone doing it, there's a part of it's like, Psst. it's painful. <laughs> it's, it's insane. It's part of the game, but I think it's it is part. Unfortunately, it's part of the game. Mm. Um, but when he called the, the the Cedric thing, yeah. Now I feel like that was an example of not joke stealing, but he stole the premise of the he stole the heart of the joke. Yeah, and he's dressed it up in his own way. Yeah. So it's one of the ones you look at it and if you don't know what you're looking at, you might think, ah, oh, they're just talking about the same thing. But sometimes man just take that little bit of your just big chunk of the thing and just put my own verbiage all over it yeah. and make it feel different. And that's still joke stealing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. still joke stealing. The only thing is, is that, you know, there's no, you can't copyright. Well, it's hard as well, unless the jokes like that, that just talk about us as a people, it's difficult, isn't it? Because mm. we all know what we kind of go through. Like the, the if we talk about our versions of growing up as a black boy in South London, yeah, it's gonna be similar. Gonna be, we had the we had similar experiences. The only and this is where comedians really separate themselves is when they tell your story. Now, if you start talking about things that happen in my life <laughs> on stage, I'm dressed. Or if I, yeah. if one day you, like I start my thing, say yes, I went to visit my granddad in Jamaica. Excuse me. Pardon? And I almost got into a fight because someone hit my mum. Why was my mum in Jamaica? You're um, not Jamaican. You know, the worst thing is it's like, because it's not the, it's not the um, some the subject matter. Like you said, there's always going to be overlap. But I tell you, it's the part where the word it, the wording of the joke is the same. It's like everything else is different, but that particular wording. Yeah. That's where you got that from. And yeah. that's the part that makes people go, yeah, boom. So when he started doing this stuff, what made me laugh is um, people started obviously doing side by side clips, but they started digging deep, bro. When he got into Steve Harvey, I haven't seen the side by side with Steve. There's Harvey. some side by sides, like bro. Harvey, There's some side by sides. Go on, is it bad? 
Yeah, it's basically there's like a petrol station joke where he's talking about how much, how expensive gas is. Yeah. So they're just, just the way that they put gas in now that it's so expensive. Now that one, you could probably just say, you a know what? A lot of people, that's a, a overla- Yeah, that's, that's, a, a, that's a massive that's shit a, experience. Everyone's done that. So it's hard to tell. Because I haven't even seen that joke, but you just know that the thing, always watching. That's what I'm saying, on, bro. Man. So yeah, there's, there's those type of things. And then there's obviously like, you know, a lot of claims in regards to like gatekeeping and all that type of stuff. And you start to just hear... You hear it like the years that Cat's been in the game. Yeah. And I think, like you say before, like it does take a successful career to sit and talk like this. Absolutely. Because if someone you've never heard of sits and talks like this, you just think you're just personally aggrieved. And whilst you're probably not lying, your personal vendetta about this thing is what's sourcing it. Whereas you look at a man who's been. Bro, we all watch Cat Williams, fam. We all know when Cat done. Williams used to come out it's every day. I'm hustling spinning. every day. I'm. Yeah. You can't even play that song if you go to church every day. I'm bro. <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> Nuff man stole that joke, <laughs> bro. Hey, what are you, listen, <laughs> you can't even be a librarian if they play that song, bro. I'll be real, yeah. Hella man was doing them intros, bro. Ah. <laughs> Hella man wanted the DJ to run that song back. Yeah, Cat yeah. Williams had a run in this nah, game. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, man. Because this brings me back. Jamie Foxx has got a joke. You know when he's in the club and he I got out of it and he's doing oh. the- <laughs> <laughs> I hit my face on the <laughs> Remember when you see, you see when he's done the, uh, the Bill Clinton thing? Hell, yeah, I'm Bill D. Clinton up in this bitch, boy. <laughs> Bruv, there's a whole era of these Valdulia uh, things, man. Oh, man. Death Comedy Jam, that's when people use, you know, when everyone didn't realize we've got the videos as well, like yeah. the DVDs of Death Comedy Jam. So people were fully stealing. And that's one thing that I found difficult early in my career in comedy. I've seen all death. I've seen, I had the complete mm. box. So you might see a comedian thinking we don't know. Yeah. Uh, painful. And it's, it's like, oh, I we know, know that. I know that. You know. I know what you've done. But you know, you know what was kind of like, at the same time. Let's go. Sad. What? Was <clears throat> black comedy is beautiful. Yeah. I love the black circuit. I yeah. really do. And I felt like it's a little bit annoying for like the most time we see this level of coverage and excitement. And it's like, it's not negative, but it's not super positive. There's a lot, of, it's beef. That's the game though, man. It's, no, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, but it's like, my I get frustrated because I look at certain things, little markers in the industry and the plight of being on the black circuit and how invisible you can be yeah. at times, bro. Like I've walked into certain places now that I've got a bit more access and my career's kind of, allow me to move a bit wider on across my net. And I walk into a place after doing certain things and like people just be like, bro, I've never seen you before, man. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, That's, it's it's funny. The first time it used to rock me, I'd be like, big man, I've played the Palladium, you know? Yeah, I've done magic. No, Hackney Empire's normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you've never played any of you've those. And it's like, you just literally, you happen. And everyone in the, who was in the room, they know. They can't believe it. Yeah. So like my frustration is like, when it comes to like our, our history in terms of the circuit, it's not documented. Yeah. Man true. can't, I, I can say to you, oh yeah, I've seen when back in the day, Leo Muhammad would come out on stage and just stand there with his leg up. Yeah. One foot just standing there. Crowd's like, what the hell? Then start telling his jokes like normal. Mm. Quake, you shutting down Hackney Empire. Fam. Absolutely. Like Felix Dexter, like bro, my mum moving mad on stage, yeah. bro. You yeah. think my energy was savage. Her yeah. thing was different, but the, the way our stuff is documented, it's not like how it is it's on, not for, the, shot, for the circuit. And you know what's funny the, about that is we both played, how many times have you done O2? Like a mad amount, Indigo. Yeah, like, Indigo 2, yeah. We've yeah. done it bare times. Like, but then you're funny, you go to these like uh, mainstream places and they're like, they're rattled by the fact that you've done over a thousand, over how many thousands? Bruv. They're like, wait, what you did, what? You're okay. like, and it's like, but why don't, how do I, how come I don't know about yeah. you? So it's almost a, and this is why, like, this is what I will say about comedy in the scene and kind of like why I became disillusioned with it a little bit is it's still hidden. It's still a hidden, uh, like, it feels like a hidden art form, what we're doing in terms of like black comics. And there's a job, I still feel there's a job of wherever the light is, where, you know, you spoke about gatekeepers. Mm. I think there's a job to say, look over here. Job's like, not I, I, like uh, I think there's, you have to point back because guess what? It, what's sad is I'm not seeing new 
young black comics coming through. You know, there was like a, there was an era, was a the Baba Tunde, the, um, everyone that came through, the Axel, um, oh, I don't want to, I, I want to say, all, Rem, all these, um, oh man, what's this comedian that makes me laugh? Like he's, he's Junior Booker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there was, all this after Kane Brown and everything, I'm talking like there was this, a wave of comics coming through and I don't know where the new wave is in terms of, or they're just going straight online now. It's and straight they're not online, even doing the- um, it's Straight online and it's straight into the other rooms. Like it's just, do you know what I mean? It's, it's a different landscape. And obviously the, an, the online stuff looks more appealing if you're young and you, this is where you're seeing content because the number of comedy clubs available ain't the same. Yeah, the Before Sunday it was Sunday show, it was that one, something for Corks, Sunday. It was, there was all these shows. things constantly going. Whereas the game is a little bit different now. So that's just my own little kind of like little little pocket feeling. Yeah. But in the midst of this, <laughs> I still did enjoy it though. <laughs> because then, I like when the truth comes out in, in whatever, when someone's truth comes out, whether or not it's the, the, the gospel truth. That's, yeah, I mean, it's Can like, I answer your question? Hit me. Why did, um, why did Ludacris rap? You see, that's, Listen, that's insane. Um, that's the part that made me go. I want to know because again, you can't call my wife. He said everyone gets the light skin, the light skin, the light skin, square face, light skin, weird face. <laughs> you can't say, bro. That. But but the thing, the thing before was him saying him being offered a, a, a role and Luda being offered a role as a you know because of the Illuminati or whatever it is, and he's like, yo, ten t- was it tw- ten mils for twenty million dollars? Can I ask a same question? Do you not think that's real? Like. The like whole, a proper like Illuminati, talk. Illuminati meeting, like, and he said, "Hey, listen, this Illuminati meeting, there's two doors right now. There's that one and that one. What kind of meeting is that? Who sets it up? The upper, when do you the get upper the- room? I think there's probably versions of it. I think what exactly it looks like is is debatable. But if you look at anywhere mm. in society, there's a group of people who are the haves and there's have nots. There's people who have access and people who don't. So mm. on some level, there's got to be something where it's like." If you're on a certain level, you get into a certain room. It's like comedians, even. Yeah. If you're a certain type of comedian, you respect people who are moving in the same circles as you. If you're on the outside, you're like, yeah, yeah, you're really there. Yeah, you ain't but done do the you know, yet. Do you know what's in my head? When you say Illuminati meeting, yeah, yeah. I'm expecting man them in cloaks, bro. Well, that saying, like, the whole check a, check like a, check a floor in Yeah, I'm expecting a mad thing. I'm saying, so like- You're in, in this room and it's dark. It's just one spotlight and someone walks out the dark and goes, hum, it's oh. your turn. <laughs> Light skin white. Drink the snake blood. <laughs> That sounds like Charlie, it makes it sound like Charlie the Chocolate Factory. Like, I uh, just think it just sounds mad. Like in my head, I've, an Illuminati meeting is one of those mad, like everyone's got the mad hoods on. You but can't what, see faces. What's mad, yeah, what's mad is when he starts talking about man, them like, <laughs> he started saying like man, them be like sucking dick and going crazy out there. Yeah. <laughs> so there's one time where he's sitting, yeah, we talking about the Weinstein thing and he's like, I said, no. He goes, so I'm looking around thinking, what did y'all do? <laughs> He goes, everybody's head down when I'm around. I said, jeez, I'm pretty. No, but Bro. He, he's definitely sourcing up some of the stories. Somebody- Because I saw him, I watched him fight that kid. I was thinking about that. Because he saw that one. Like a- he yeah. said he's going to beat up Cedric. He said he wanted to punch um, Buster's gut, he said. He did, yeah. But then I said, that, that footage was bad footage, bro. That little kid laid hands. Let's, <laughs> come on, bro. I get it. I rate him. I, as a comedian, pound for pound. In that fight, he didn't go. He didn't go as planned. At yeah, all, his perm man. got moved to. It was. It was rough. It was rough. And the thing is, he just kept. Go, he kept trying. I hated watching that footage. Same you know? here, I didn't want to see. It's like you never want to see like guys that shouldn't be in a situation like that. Go for that it. teenager. That teenager was brolic, bro. Yeah. You know them, them wrestling youths in America, bro. God forbid you end up going toe to toe with them, man. Uh, Don't think his young face has got a suplex. <laughs> Being suplex on the street is just not. What do you even do after that, fam? I don't so know. Arches their back and just. My biggest fear is getting into some type of fighting situation, and he's not a striker. He's on his his, his Brazilian jiu jitsu thing. So you're there training. Somehow you're on the floor, and it ain't over. Don't he's on some good. <laughs> Um, <laughs> hey, hey, bro, there's no ref. You just there screaming, hoping that he has mercy. She know what the crazy put you, the, put you the walls of Jericho. No, she know what's crazy. Tapping when there's no ref. Yo, 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 yo. This you tapping for bro, this. Now nah, getting put in the figure four on the street is crazy. Oh, on concrete, I, you know. And your legs are just twist up, bro. Walls of Jericho. I'm here, bro. Is crazy. Tendons popping. Yeah, because he's why is he stopping? Absolutely not. Yeah, it was. Well. You're gonna hear something. You're gonna hear one of them 
Uh, you're going to hear one of those sound effects from the Kung Fu movies that you're used to. It was insane. <laughs> But it's and it sounds like is he all right? Or, Get off him! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's always that one. But you know what? We had to give ratings to Sharon. You know, because oh, Sharon is Sharon. always Get off him. And Leave him alone. Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna get involved no matter it's how violent it looks. It's the elder. <laughs> Now, some of the elders are not getting involved anymore. Nah, sometimes you know? they get involved and they don't care because they just be looking at you like you're just kids. They don't really, you know what I mean? You know, you get them grandmas, bro, them black grandmas. I don't think they they don't, nah, they've learned, you know. The black that grandma, might have been the last generation. The black, they don't know about their black grandma because black grandma's been getting moved to on the, oh, you, you shut up. That's what they're getting on the, before yeah, black right. grandma on the bus could set, a, she, she could, could set it. She could mm-hmm. calm the whole beef down. Everything's getting right when black grandma's on the bus. You know, like she'll go up and says, you know when, the, when everyone's moving, you know, after school, you're too excited mm-hmm. and grandma just wants to get home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's not beef, say. you're just too excited on the bus. And the bus driver's done the turn off the engine one. And you just hear, I remember that. you know oh, it. Man. The bus driver does, we hear, you know, the heavy engine. <laughs> And then all you hear is, oh, this. oh, oh fuck's oh. sake, man. Can you not shut up? Oh, no, things hey, coming oh, up. Elder, shut your mouth, man. <laughs> and yeah. you hear the old grandma. Oh, no, just stop it and quiet. Disrespect people things. We don't have no upbringing. <laughs> no, we don't brought up self broken. <laughs> we don't need blood of Jesus. She might even see that one you when she gets upstairs and um, re- it's him that's going to get and, it now. It's well. one of those with the man that we look, they look at this. That's funny because I'm just second day school. Why is she looking at me, man? Yeah, 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 I ain't even yeah, yeah, yeah. seen nothing, bro. I don't even know why she's looking at yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I've been getting yeah, excited yeah, yeah. on the street, not like that, but obviously we've been friends and you're still ever. If I like saw someone who looked auntie-ish or just even had an accent when she spoke, I would just... Just in case, because uh, there's always that worry that maybe she knows my mum. She knows my, that's, oh. that's what my, my yeah. mum had me on lock with that one. She said, I know everybody. <sighs> when you're out there, you don't, I'm knowing what you're doing. <laughs> I'm knowing what you're doing. So just behave yourself. Mm. Yeah, he said. I, I would tell your mother and you'll be going home shook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, loaded yeah. now. They're my friends. Everyone on the <laughs> they bus. They're my friends. They're my friends. <laughs> hey, you know what I thought was, um, was me. interesting was, one Cat Williams revealing the growing up the the upbringing he had. It's crazy being homeless, like thirteen, being at thirteen, two, seeing how many kids he's adopted. Mm. So what is it? Is he got no biological seven? No, kids? he's got his, he's got. I think it's three kids of his own. Okay, and adopted an, an extra seven. Incredible. And I'm just looking and I'm thinking to myself, this is a a tr- a, a, a complicated personality to understand, mm. especially when he speaks about how he treats other comics, like. The, when he talks about you know giving guys a bit of extra money because he sees how tough they yeah. bro, the amount of comics that have come out to say it's yo true. this happened like he's true twenty five hundred and I'm just like there's there's a there's a there's a part of his character that he revealed and you know we all got to kind of see someone kind of just put it all on the table and I think it was quite a beautiful situation yeah because I don't know he reminds me personality wise of like someone like Prince and it's my understanding they're friends. Yeah, yeah, they are yeah. friends. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. but I st- there's elements of their personality types because it's like I will never be able to predict this type of person. I will mm. never be able to predict that you would want to adopt seven kids. I wouldn't mm. be able to predict that you feel this level of compassion for people that you don't actually have to do anything for. Like the passion that he speaks about comedy with, yeah, that resonated with me. And that's heavy. why I said, I said uh, when I watched it, because not to um, go on your point and stuff, but then I watched it. And you came to mind. Mm. So when I was watching it, because it's the cerebral, I would when I if I break down him and yourself, but you're very thought thought out, mm. thought out plans. When Cat went into doing that thing, he knew what he was doing. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. everything. Absolutely. He planned it all. He knows he's got the big. Do- he's got a, um. He's got his show coming out on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. We all like coming back to Netflix j- without anyone realizing is one thing. Coming back to Netflix, pissing off everybody. Like, it's, it's literally, he called out every comedian. So now, guess what? We're all looking at that. We're all looking at that next stand-up piece saying, what's going on? We have to watch it mm. because, again, it's a super announcement. Bro, he called out 
Black Ma- Michael, um, what do you call it? Michael, Michael Blackson. Blackson. He called out um, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Yeah. He called out really big names, like and people Steve love Passer. Steve people Harvey, love Cedric. Pa- this guy is very. In- but, he's incredibly intelligent. Yeah, no, hundred um, percent. Shooting in bail in terms of the the call outs. He came on there to respond, especially to, to Ricky Smiley and Cedric. Both of them had been on the club Shay Shay beforehand, mm-hmm. so he came on to to address. Especially when he's talking to Cedric, he's like, yo, we've already spoken about this quietly, mm. but you're out here bringing it up. Okay, cool. We're well, now looking, we can smoke this thing publicly. Yes. So it's like, yeah, I mean, this, that's on that part. Yeah, the, anybody's going to want to respond. No, but it's fought out though. Yeah, it's yeah, fought yeah. out to know. Like, it's not, it's not a mistake that he's done it in timing for what he's going to be doing. It's not, I'm not saying yeah, it's yeah, a okay, bad clout okay, thing. I'm okay, saying yeah, you're yeah, just yeah. clever. Right now, if you drop to, if you drop to um, Cat, Cat Williams special, just willy nilly on Netflix without Streets telling us. It would have, we probably know we, if before this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It probably would have been us. Oh, I didn't even know he had a special. Now mm. it's like when we all wanted to hear from Chris Rock after he got slapped. Mm. It it just works like that. We 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 like we like Passa. We like madness. Even so, oh, why can't we all just get? It? No, we want to see the car crash. Yeah, I mean, for me, I, I don't think I don't ever imagine that we could all sit around the campfire and everyone just be mates. It's never gonna go like that. Somebody's yeah. gonna do something, and that's why for me, I keep a reserved kind of stance when two guys at that level have a beef. Yeah, because I look at I think to myself because in this game. Man will shaft you and hide their hands and you do something. Why, why is he going on? Yeah. Why, why? There's bear of that. So for me, when I see someone committed to getting their thing, I'm like, something must have happened. Man don't just dislike man for no reason. My thing is, if you be brave enough to make that move, bro, own it. Stand no, on business, but, bro. No, but you have to understand what, there's another thing happening. And it's like everyone, well, this before I quit my job or just how you see most workplaces yeah, yeah, yeah everyone wants to have that thing where let's say you win the lottery and then you do the higher mighty speech you know the job that you hated oh, think yeah. about it and you just wanted to go f this yeah and walk out a lot of people have that dream now the only the, the comedy version of that is people been stealing my jokes for ages if i speak about it i'm going to look like a hater you have to get to the top of the game where no one can say. Everyone that came back said, Cat's a great guy, but he's moving mad. Cat, there's too much toxicity in your heart. No one has been able to say, liar, there's no truth in what you're... And not all- just that, not just that, yeah, but the gentle care they're using to address him. Oh. They have to. Fam, if someone came out and was making claims about me doing this, that, and the third, you think I'm going to be on some... Look, man, I've I've seen the video, and I just hope that we can all come together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah. hold on. He had smoke. Talk. Oh, now you so, haven't told me about the rapping, fam. If you cuss my wife, I don't want bars. There will not be. You speak about, bro. Speak about my wife. Do you think there's bars? No. I think these people are clipping up mad I will stuff. They're find you in the green archives room. and just combining it and overlaying it with what kind of certain stuff, and it's, it's ugly. Just, Bro, there's a video that I see. You know, you know the ones they would joke about a bang at the time, but Steve Harvey's doing this bit talking about, man, if they pay me $4 million, oh, man, to be a monkey. Bro, he goes, the black community would be so disappointed. I'd be like, ah, that's the was funny. Bro, in, this, in, this, era in this era, when when he's talking about him and Bernie Mac and the things the man was going through, bro. <laughs> that joke was funny and that's bro. the part that when you know you hear the behind the scenes thing and it's just like i understand as, as funny people people do have this view that you men are you men must all be friends it must all be fun good times and it's like no nah, dog like there's some of these men that know like when bernie mac is talking let me get this clip that i saw of of bernie yeah get the clip, man. and bro it's <laughs> it's one of the ones you hear man talking it's just like you think this man didn't know he had ops where's my Oh, yeah, it's sad as well in comedy it's, you know you don't realize like I, you know my energy there we go it's, sorry i got it i got it here a lot of comedians hold on, hold on. you don't do your material around a lot of comedians that's like stealing in front of the police you know? they mean well but they, they sit on the side oh that's funny next thing you know you see on hbo or something you be sitting at home that shit get mine you know <laughs> but ain't nobody gonna believe first come first serve you know so when you do new stuff you never i'm gonna tell you for you comments coming up never bring your stuff out in front of a house full of comedians 
You have never worked a lot. <laughs> Especially established comedians like myself, you'll never work a lot. <laughs> Make sure you keep that. that. <laughs> I don't want that, that question to be asked on the couch. Jamie still in your shit for real? I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's mad. Yeah, it's mad. Get, yeah, because it's like, and it is that shape of like him saying established comics will do that to a younger comic because that guy oh. ain't gonna be able to speak to him. But I just want to just go back to what I was saying about a cat in terms of like adopting seven kids. Yeah, mm. like the sensitivity of his upbringing in terms of the the drugs and that life that he was exposed to. Mm. That's these are huge markers on the personality type. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? And I think it it does expand to the why someone like that is so compassionate in those dealings behind yes. closed doors that you have because it's just like when you've seen homelessness as someone who's lived it bro it's got to be different when you see people going through hard times absolutely because even the way he spoke about his dad when you can obviously hear that there's some real some real stuff buried deep, deep in there deep sadness yeah. but the way he was still careful to kind of not respect yeah there was and, a level and, of respect and, and at his age there's no reason that he necessarily has to but he still was very careful about how he spoke about it and was like you know i was out of order it was his house but mm -hmm. when you're piecing the he's basically kind of giving you the pieces and saying look you can build the picture but i'm not going to say pay him as a person i'm just going to tell you what happened when he spoke about being 13 and being like on the trucks and stuff and like hitchhiking and even like when people have to like, hustle and stuff like that it's funny yeah. that's all like, in secondary school where people like used to shot donuts and stuff like that and yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. as much as it's like oh, it's an entrepreneurial kind of thing. There's there's usually a bit more behind it. Like you don't Absolutely. actively choose to sell donuts at school or sweets at school unless mm. you know you need to. Yeah, generally speaking, I find so. Yeah. So yeah, it was just like when he's talking about that and like he was on the on a truck at that, that age and being by yourself at that age and moving around the country. I was it's like, mad. What's, what what was really going on at home for? Like no one came to come and get you, bro. He tried to join the army, fam. Mm. That's crazy. All the stuff that when he was listening to, I was like. You know what? And then yeah. when he had, when he decided it's time for comedy, and do you know what it was? There was bits in there that, to me as a comedian who's not really been engaged in it, it did make it. It did make me just want to write a little bit. I got that feeling of like, mm, just write more, just write mm. more. I remember because when I when I first came into the game, I was like, I'm gonna outwork everyone because I'm competitive. Even I'm, I'll probably be. I'm laughy competitive. So don't get twisted. If I'm on a show, Travis, me, everyone's on the thing. I'm there to kill it. I love I'm not there to I'm not there to to be last. I'm not there to be the worst. I'm there to be I in my head before when I first started, I was like, I need the slim laughs. I need them to treat me how they feel about him. And there was that I I, I was hungry for it. Then after a while, it got to the stage where I felt I knew my shit. I knew that I don't have to worry about him and whatever. As soon as they give the mic to me, I'm going to go crazy. Do you know what I'm saying? And then after, I think, I don't know what happened, but then there was, I don't know what happened, but I just, that thing, that hunger and that bite or that fight for comedy, it just kind of just lowered. Do you reckon you kind of blowing up with Shadrach might have changed that? Because it's like, this isn't a live space. This is a different space. And this, this hits far and wide in a way that's moving things along way faster than what stand up was doing at that time. May, potentially, no, mm. do you know what it was? It was all the TV stuff. It was all of it. it. It was everything happening and it was hard to say where we was going. And cause we were first, literally like when we would talk about like Big Shaq or Man Them on the Wall and stuff, we were first in terms of from this. Mm. So when we was having, bro, we'll be in these Channel 4 meetings, BBC meetings, yeah? And just being gassed, they were just yarning us. And they were like, they were in there, like, he knows we'll come home and be like, yo, we're gonna get a Channel 4 show. Imagine what he said to us. They goes, we're gonna give you a Channel 4 show. We need you to stop making sketches. Oh, yeah. Oh, Remember? Oh, yeah. They said, we need you to stop making sketches. We said, yeah. You know, but then imagine too. how you take, imagine how you just take the feet, like the, the what you call it, the momentum. momentum. This is what's giving us the life. No one knows what to do with us. We keep ending up in, in rooms. Development meetings. And development after development and organic relationships. Mm. You know what I mean? No mm. contract, you know. We're going to make this organic. Yeah, so we're in these situations. So you take it out the ball because you're like, bro, we signed to Dirty Stank. You know what I mean? Like we signed to, um, so it looked like we was starting this, and that was when it was like, they used it kind of like Dirty Stank, Def Jam. 
That's what Dirk's done wanted to do. Okay. We're going to be the first of this new black com- comedy here. Like we're going to do what's been done in America. So again, we were like, let's wait for this thing to happen mm. and just lost momentum. Yeah, yeah, Lost yeah. momentum. And I think again, in this game, the reason probably why I, I would say that I'm still here is because I ain't got everything I want from it yet. But I know I have to be focused. I know I can't do, I can't, right now is not, for me personally, it's not time for comedy right now. It's my acting, this. Do you know what I'm saying? I'll be back though. And one thing I'm for sure is I know I'm going to be back on that stage. You know what's something that that Travis said before about um, like they're not being like this new crop of comedians. And I was wondering if like, you guys think part of, a part of that reason is that, so when you're, like you, you're on this journey and you start to kind of get a bit known, people speak about you, get a bit of a profile, there's so many pulls in different directions. And I think the idea of, you have to almost like jump this gap to remain like a pure comedian that does stand up because suddenly, you know, you're doing jokes on your phone, on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever it is. And then suddenly like you're getting bookings and things like that, you're getting opportunities, you're being an extra in a film, all these kind of things and or getting even parts in the film. And so suddenly it's like, well, like I said, the desire to start keep writing content, it's like, well, this is here though. This, well, this, this is, is, you know what, this is the thing. Stand up is hard. Stand up mm, is very, hard and it requires your focus. Like for me, like I've had a different way in, in my yeah. experience in the game. And I think, you know, having my mum be Angela Lamar and be my mum has helped me a lot because she, where people probably felt like we helped me on the creative side of things, it was more mindset that she really set for me. Like one of the phrases that's just, we just fire at each other all the time. Right now, she, there's an unread message I could show you where she's saying, have you done the work? Because that's a, that's a project I'm working on that I talked to her about. But the, the, the work is the, a constant thing we throw at each other. I'll say it to her when she's doing something, mm. have you done the work? Because what she means is go out there and do the work. Don't play about mm. with what your preparation is. Don't mess around. But where she got my mind right was, this is a long road. Oh. She, from the beginning, it was... Do not expect a firework career. Oh. Go and work hard as if this is going to happen in 20 years time yeah. and you're preparing every single time for that moment. Yeah. So when stuff has happened, I've always been on the thing of, well, I know my pen's getting stronger. Well, I know my pen's getting stronger. Oh, that's happening over there. That's sick, but I'm still working on my pen. Sometimes I'll be chilling and, you know, life is happening. I'm, you know, we did a bit of filming over the, the last couple of years, a lot more filming and stuff like that. And I hadn't geeked in a while. And obviously I had a new baby and stuff like that. And life's been changing. And just out of nowhere, I'll wake up and just be like, I need to gig because I need to keep this thing sharp. Mm. Because I know for a fact, if you don't respect this, this craft, it won't respect you. And I'm not going to allow laziness to be the reason someone takes my seat. If you could take it because you deserve it, then get me the hell out of there because I would yeah. get you the hell out of here. Yeah. But my thing is, I stay true to the craft because this craft here is a powerful one. I don't look at stand-up as a thing to just, you know, fill time and just, yeah, man, just you know, cheeking it out. No, it's not. This is a powerful thing, bro. I just like the feeling of it. I, I know, but think, you know what I never I'm going to get my I'm a, first. I never, I'm get, on, I'm, go, sorry, man, go, just go. to, to I'm going to get deep with it because my mom's the pioneer of this, the black circuit in the UK. So the history of the game that I know is so close to, to, to how really it is that's why there's certain stuff that will trigger me mm. in these spaces that mm. you'll see and you just be like right yeah travel's going on for the thing but i'm like black comics weren't welcome like that so in the beginning my mom's got gigs where she started off in a nightclub bro mm. stopping the rave to tell jokes you know how hard of an that's environment hard. that is that. man's just catching the that's wine and then hold on, hold on. that's yeah. the hardest hey, bro, let me let you know back, that's the hardest back then when stand-up was not a thing people were doing that's, that's hard. Exactly. So it's come from there. So in that fact of less like, right, but, but comedy existed though. So like black churches, mm-hmm. yeah, exist. Black churches come because white churches weren't welcoming black people yeah, when they came yeah, over. Like so it was an act of protest. Yeah. There's a voice that it represents. That's why when I, I'm not a fan of comic, comedy where nothing is being said. Mm. Why are you, why is there nothing of substance being given here. Mm. So that's why is I know there's to every moment that we laugh and everything that's there is a deeper root. And I'm just like, I don't escape it. So for me, I, I feel something deeply when I see certain things coming and how our black comics are handled. It's an act I've, I, I, I don't run from. Mm. I don't run from my story. I'll be in different spaces and they'll be like, oh, where you come from? I'm from the black comedy circuit. Yes. I've seen comics go and do mainstream and just be like, oh yeah, I won that competition and now I'm here. And I'm looking at men that's like- taking a piss. I remember you, fam. I remember you, bro. That's, that's your story. Me. Oh, you're about to trigger me and I'm out to say something now. So that's, it, so, so. so for me, because what that means for me is it's like, I don't do the, the, the same gigs I used to do in yeah. the way I used to do them back in the day. But my story, 
wherever I go, where you, where have you been? Just there, second. there is where I'm from. Yeah. There. So if you got to go there now to go and see who might be there now, go there. But that's why. I see. Remember what we see. imagine we're saying the same thing. Trust I, me. Remember that's. I, um, imagine we're saying the same thing in this moment. Like we this is the part of the game where it's there's a duty. I always feel. Remember, even in what you call it, like I I make sure I do. Even when let's say like when I'm in this space. And if I had a link or a move, I'm saying, Travis, I'll tell them straight away. Yeah. Trav, Trav's going to be on set with me in some, in whatever way, even whenever I was, yep, my guy. And I've mm. done that. It's not, even if you watch movies and stuff, mm. you will see my friends there. Yeah. Like every single time, because I'm going to bring them in. Like one time um, for, what do you call it? Um, what's that? Sh what's that film? Ah, uh, oh, something. Oh man, my first movie as well. Gone too far. Oh, yeah. For gone too far, I promise you, they hit me up and said, um, we want you to be in this movie. Yeah. And I was like, oh, bro, man, I didn't even think it was real. Yeah. Finally, they said, can you make a tune? Like, can you make a little piece? Yeah, yeah. I told the man them, I said, guys, get in the studio. Please believe my friends, everyone's in the in that movie. My guys are in it. Yeah. There's that four, like, we're here. Why? Because... It like when the door opens and we're still getting paid for these things. Like even even in the in the latest movie, um, in what do you call it? Um, some other hood. Mm. Tunes in that fam. Mm. Yeah, put that on the what do you call it? Put down the soundtrack. Yeah. So each and every time when if I can bring the you have to bring people with you. Absolutely. It's a it's a it's your duty. It like I will always, even people, even YouTubers know, even on my channel, plug your thing. I'm not trying to hide the community. Mm. That that's the thing. There's no and that in this is when people feel inferior or they're scared. Mm. You're scared. Why are you scared to show what's over here? Unless you don't trust your position, mm. unless you don't believe you're the best in your position, and you don't want to let people know. Highlight the thing. Yeah, 100%. highlight it. Hundred percent. Yeah, bro. And it's, it's yeah, it's bro. We could listen, let's man. not go there. Yeah. Let's not go there. Let's <laughs> let's get into it. We could go. Let's not we go there, go. fam. But yeah, man. In, in terms of this 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 cat situation, let's just punch it, punch it, um, punch it home. I think you know, seeing seeing the uncles and the legends and the OGs go out there. I'll be real. I, I'm not. I don't want to see established legendary names fall at, at this point. I don't want to see that. The game is hard for black comics yeah. in general. I'm, I don't really want to see that. But at the same time, I, I always give space for somebody to air their grievances. Yeah. And, you know, Cat Williams has brought Kevin Hart's baby mom on tour, Tori Hart. She's going on tour with him. And I'm thinking to myself, this beef is loud now. This beef is loud. He did what? He's brought her on tour, bro. That's not nice. We're seeing comedy beef in a way. Because I know Kevin. Kevin is obviously... Kevin doesn't want to engage in it. Kevin doesn't want to engage. He doesn't want to have that space. He's already addressed him before on Breakfast Club. Like he doesn't want to engage in this thing. And I, I can understand why someone doesn't want to engage in this situation, but the competitive energy of comedy will never, ever go away. We can pretend as if we just, yeah, I'm just doing my thing. Do you reckon? It's competitive. Do you reckon the height thing is in there though? Like well, I'm the he, short comedian that is laughed at for the height thing and it's part of the stick in it. Cat, like, Cat was... Was, was prominent that, like before Kevin Hart. Yeah. And the crossfade went just like that. For whatever reason. But then or, that you can't leave out the height in it no, they're works both, in oh, so many. No, but it's in their timeline. Their timeline is like boom. That, the actual height. Like the, I'm talking the height. I'm oh. talking the they're in the same. roles. They go for the same similar role in it. If you see, imagine a movie, let's let's take Kevin Hart out and put Cat Williams next to the rock. It could it's it, still funny. It could, yeah. If that you know what I mean, there's when you go into casting rooms, you know who you always go up against yeah, in a casting. True still. I know the faces. Do you reckon there's some of that in there? It's like uh, like I don't know, but it, it's interesting because I it's funny that K Kevin Hart will never engage in this one, even though Cat has pushed him bare times. And then Spanky came out and said, "We've been on tour together, like we've we've been around each other. Like, mm. why are you doing this?" So it's interesting. And if you're gonna shoot, at least shoot for someone of worth. Like he didn't say any subpar names. He said uh, he said the heavy hitters. Like I still Steve Steve Harvey. Still, I rate him. I rate said I rate these men because again, these lot allowed. Um, well, for for me anyway, I'll talk on my thing. I was watching these lot when I decided, yo, I can do that. You know what I mean? So I can't take out their their journey. I think um, I just never knew that that week was that week. Steve Harvey's thing. That's that a week? man unit. 
But I wait, think the shape up was. I thought the shape up was incredible. Bro, he punched home that T on that unit. He said, "That's a man unit." <laughs> oh, is it judo? Like he had like it's Beijing real. before Beijing was a thing. Bro, listen, you is that have, real though? No, like, you man have oh. to understand. Yeah, there was a video of Steve Harvey from way back before he blew up, where he had the ball patch at the back of his head at the top. Suddenly, it's gone. He has, bro, the man unit being the one to bang the man unit when before that was a thing is is nuts. He bro, was before his time though. Pioneer, because bro. that shape up, we were all looking for it. Who that would have shape suspected? Up, who would have suspected this thing weren't real? That's a man unit. Do you think he was just like living in the shadows? Like he would like have to run away and touch it up, or he'd feel it like slipping off his head and then have to go. Bro. No, but is, he's you have to understand about how, he's before no, his time, no, bro. But think about how locked in you have to be. 24. That means no one can run up on you and be like, my brother. <laughs> what? <laughs> now let you think. No. Or like a I'm gonna, sh- what, strong is this, is this way. Is this, that is, I'm gonna go to the toilet. What's it? What's it? <laughs> he, because we don't know what's happened now. Like a sudden downpour, it's just raining. <gasps> Man, like high you have tower. umbrella. Bro. But you gotta say he's before it, bro. This is before Turkey, Abs- bro. Absolutely. This is before BBLs, bro. <laughs> this is before this is the first. Bro, he's literally <laughs> cruel. BBL. He's got the hairline BBO. This is before Bro, everyone. We really, <laughs> we have to put respect on his name. I hear it still. Do you think he's got like secret shares in like- He Bro. has to. Bro, you know when the man them are getting, this is before Connor Ben you thought man, about the beard. Fam. I don't think you better really respect him, the level of locked in you need to be at all times. He couldn't get into a fight impromptu. Think that would have man. to be planned. You get into a fight, now you're getting drapes. Now the thing's just getting loose. Now, now you're fighting for your life, bro. Now you're fighting as if someone went, world star. Like, if I, <laughs> and you know, I'm not going to lie to you. If I boxed that great shape up off, if it was me, I say, what kind of punch do I power do I have? I've boxed off the shape up that we've been talking about that for years. And it's just, cool. But you do have to wonder though, like what kind of glue did they have back then? Because them studio lights would have been hot. No, this adhesive. Like pre-LED. Adhesive. Adhesive, adhesive, bro. adhesive, bro. The it unit. A man unit. Yeah, but what kind of adhesive that is skin it's, safe and bro, under the lights? You didn't see that video where the girl put the thing in her hair and then the, 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 the crazy, the gorilla glue. Before his time. Bro. He was, everything he did was before, bro. Shout out, Steve. <laughs> That's what we got to do because he's, he set he's the set trend. It. He set it. The he first hair BBL. <laughs> oh, do you think he was there with like his man them that was like in a circle that knew and they were all on it? Oh, of course. And of course. furious. And the their, loyal, friends were, their the, friends were furious. The loyal dogs. Like, no, you got the one like hater. Coming look, forward as you get older. Like, no, how are you I, doing that? Here's how this thing probably gets out. You got the one hater. He don't tell no one, but his missus. <laughs> now the missus has this info. Yes. She's told her friends, but you, y'all can't say nothing, okay? This is the circle. <laughs> One of them has told their grandma, yes. now it's in the church. <laughs> you know when, when everyone knows, but no one knows at the same time? Yes. Or it, it'll, now probably it's come out in a, it'll probably come out in a bad way, you know? Because it's like, when Cat just Williams. imagine, no, not like that. No, I'm I don't saying, think they realize when Cat Williams cooked him on stage. Oh yeah, no. We know a whole hour in that. I'm saying the way this thing could come out though, if you're, if because it, it always happens wrong. You might be in a barber shop. And people are trying to crack jokes on you saying, your hair ain't even like Steve's hair. And you're his brethren hey, knowing that ain't real. Hey, yo. Oh, you're going to tell the truth. It ain't even real like that. <laughs> hey, wait, hold up. Hey, yo, hey, yo. Hey, what you talk? Hey. And now he's just like, nah, 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 nah. He said it. It's into the universe, bro. These men don't even have the data, but they got away. You know, Steve Hall is here. It's, it's not real, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And that crazy one when you walk into the room, everyone's looking at you and just like they're talking, and then suddenly it's like, no, it's when the eye contact ain't on your eyes. <laughs> and we're like, hey, what up, Steve? <laughs> and then people are saying, you, you know, like for like black women where they come into work with different hair, like, what, what's the hair, hair Ooh, short? Yeah. The crazy oh, thing is, yeah, yeah. It, it's how it's, did you grow it so long? <laughs> but, my, but my thing is this year. At least mix up the, the man we, the man unit so that way you gradually get to the bald bit. Like he just said, no. go to the, the strong fade. Go to the, the level no, one. Went, <laughs> you might even go for the bald one. You get the bald in one. So that way it's like, uh, I'm losing it. So I'm just gonna wrap. That's he too said, committed. Strong fade, strong hairline, gone. Probably the technology though, isn't it? They didn't have the ability to kind of They're like- They're adhesive. And They're adhesive, <laughs> yeah, bro. It has to be like thick enough to hide all the, all the imperfections and the adhesive underneath. Listen, what man. he should be showing is, you know, cause obviously the girls have got the new ones with the, the, the weave. Oh, the, the lace front, the baby hair. The lace, the, yeah, he oh, was the before the his time. Liberties. Like, you know when the baby hair is like touching the eyebrows? Yo, they're getting crazy. 
<laughs> but then you can it's see like the, you can see the thing though. Yeah. You know the bit. The lace. Oh, the, the little skin. Yeah, yeah, well, well they got well, the skin. Well, they ain't blended well. the lace yet, and they ain't blend it like well, it's they, mad. Well, they didn't dye the lace the right color to match the skin. As a man, you. yeah, sometimes you can see that shit, but you pretend you can't see it. Innit? You just pretend like you don't have the data. <laughs> I can see it. I ain't got the intel to really know what that's doing. But, but that's mad, though. I'm noticing it, though. Yeah, I think, I think, <laughs> I think some people think they're getting away with more than they actually are. Yeah, because all the I'm letting them. Can we say it to the women? We can see it though. Certain times. No, no, we, uh, hey, hey, bro, you know, we lifting. can, no, we can see, we, you know, the in-between part and they tried to do the makeup on the thing like that, yeah, this and brother, you're like, This brother nah. saying, that's a lady unit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mind it like that, nah, but don't sometimes me. just, no, but I don't like when the, when the lines are, they're not being done though, when they're yeah, jacket, well, you know, is, like. As long as this, the execution is good, it's fine. I think it's when. I like, don't care. I'm just like, Some man be making a bigger deal out of it than, than it actually is. Like, no, I can't. We've no girl. Shut, shut up, man. Shut That's up, not, it, for relax. me, it's not even that. It's just, aren't your friends saying to you like. A like little, little nudge yeah, in like, that. Yeah, like, yeah, it's lifting. I watch Christmas East Enders. It's just, it's just out of my jurisdiction. As a man, it's out of your jurisdiction. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, no, you don't get involved. But I watch Christmas um, East Enders and Denise, cause they have, a, they had their in the high wigs before. I like the fact that she's got the new one still. There's, you can always tell the stylist has changed. There's definitely a black. Sti- there's definitely a black stylist has got involved. Let me tell you because they're yeah. getting the wi- they're getting the rack wigs before. Here's my message. I was so sad for her. Here's my message to black actors and actresses. Yeah, when you get on, you book a job. Put your foot down and say you need a black hair stylist, please. Because I, when I was doing Princess Mirabel, yeah, she was she was all right. Like the, I sat down, I was just like, I was a white woman there. And I was thinking to myself, how's this gonna? How's this gonna go? Because you know the ones that we just like would you, we're filming in fifteen. Oh, she's gonna she's gonna get a quick haircut. And I'm thinking to myself, I I want someone else to do it <laughs> because I'm sitting there thinking this is the first for me in my whole life. <laughs> this is they let me do it myself. I'm bored. Oh, you're bored, bro. To lose. Listen, I she get the one me. blade. I say no, don't. Oh, that's because they do it sometimes. They, you're lucky, bro. bro. No, because sometimes you feel the tentative. Bro, you, you know when they're trying. Don't your relate head. to what I had to I go through. I can relate, bro. She showed me fades she's done before, and I was looking at those fades, thinking, oh, I don't want to be a disruptor on the set. This is my first job in it. Like I'm saying, I don't want to be a disruptor. But I think to myself, it's been a journey with me and my barber. We've been doing things to strategically build yeah. this, this this momentum. We've you got, got more to lose. We know the light, yeah. But don't say I don't understand though, because that's nah, hard. bro. It's as not a the board, bro. No, she as started a board doing man. the fade. She started doing the fade, but there was no soul in the fade. Bro, she was doing the fade you... as if it was a maths equation. It was like boom, level change, boom, level change. I'm thinking you don't love what you're doing. No, but I could Slider take it to court. Love it, bro. There's no flick of the wrist. I, I could take it to court, you know. Bull I'll take people, it to court, bro. No, but right now what you did is there's, no, there's, a, there's a law about like- What, like bull jokes? You can't mistreat bull people, bro. <laughs> I think, you no, know, you man are all off. Shut up, bro. It's a thing, it's a thing. It's a thing, bro. Man, then quickly so check. So wait, are you, mar- are you marginalized? Hey. Have I marginalized hey. you? Hey. I'm marginalized. Hey. You told hey. me that I don't know what it feels like when she's trying to cut my hair because I've, I haven't got nothing to lose, really. Yo, have bro. you ever put your missus's hair like over your head just to see what it might yeah, be yeah, like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I have. <laughs> So, you're not, you're and not I've done that one. I've done that one when he go like that. You know when he goes like when he whip by the ear. <laughs> He's not a marginalized. He's not I'm marginalized. No, but no, so so I could take though. you to. Bro, um, I remember, I, I, listen, I, when I was younger, I got, I got my hair cut. I'll never forget this. Um, it was Dave's International Barbers in Peckham. Shout out to Dave. Dave you know, I, I don't know if it was Dave that cut my hair, but I remember getting a haircut that was so bad. I just went home and cried. Oh, uh, you know oh. when you're in the chair, uh, you know when it's a good trim. Because Barbers you know, not even finished yet. And you're just like you're gassed. It's a couple weeks. This haircut was bad from the start. And my dad's like, you know, yeah, very sharp. And it's like, no. Sharp. <laughs> just, Look at you. Sharp. I was just, I, and he was like, do you want hey, to do else? You pussies. Listen wow. to this. Yes, I don't care. Calling someone bored. It went to a tribunal, fam. It's harassment. And it's actually harassment. I'm being harassed. Well, when no one called you bored, he said follically challenged. No, someone, you lot, you were insinuations. Bro. Follically deficient. Like you, you being bored, yeah? <laughs> but I don't <laughs> like the fact that it's called sexual harassment. I don't feel like I'm being sexually You know what I've just realized, yeah? You being bored and supporting Man U. Cat, Cat Williams was talking to you, bro. Why? Listen. Having an unnatural allegiance to losers does not like you. <laughs> this man is Lucy Lee's, eh? His team is Lucy in real life. Why well, speak for guys, though? Because if you have no hair hey, in your hey, head hey, and hey, you hey, have hold on, no beard. Hold on, hold on. We're not going to let him do that. We're not going to let him do that. <laughs> Cause he knows what's scared of he knows what's scared of his team. You have an unnatural hey, hey, allegiance to gonna, losing, hey, and it's not like you. No, because this is this is. Like, we're not doing that on this pod. 
But we know what's going on. Cool. All I'm saying is we're up to date. Okay? We're up to date. You cool. know what that means. You Obviously, you don't know what that means. Arsenal's being Arsenal again. Yeah, I know. That's we it. By That's gen- January. But we're not going to do that. We're January that. is when it happens. We're not doing that. <laughs> the worst thing is, yeah. And this guy won't talk to me about football no more. The worst All thing of is, a sudden, yeah. it's Arsenal, just back to everything else. Arsenal is about. not a trigger for me. I know. <laughs> That's why I hate when you get involved. I'm in so used thing. to losing after January. Just, just the fact that you it's had to like normal. do that whole thing there lets me know how much that's touching. Because it's dumb. Because I hate Arsenal fans who chat shit. And then, do you have the unnatural right, allegiance let's go. to lose? I don't know. Speaking of hair, though, let's do this. What you're saying about the hair. So you're not going to continue wrestling? Quality challenge. So you're going to... Well, eh, I hope... I, I really... I want your hairline to recede now. Man, wow. Yeah, no, I said it. I said it. Start, God forbid. Of, start aggressively in the corners as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> and I want the Beijing... To, I want him to be a Beijing God warrior, forbid. fam. Bro, I, I was going to segue fighting. into the clip of that guy with the beard, bro, because... Oh, oh, that's so funny. That segue would have been good, but yeah, it felt like but it was. Yeah, no, but he called me follicly challenged, bro. Yeah, I'm working on my comedy thing. as well, fam. He's ruined it, bro. <laughs> you can't follicly. It was, it was strong, though. It was I hear it. Was, I hear it. But you can't call me follicly challenged. And he said another thing as well. Follicle ting, straight follicle ting. <laughs> Light on top. <laughs> Light on top. <laughs> that's funny, though. All right. Um, let's, let's, hey, you know what? Let's, let's do this one and then we'll go over to Patreon. Hey, wait, hold on. I'm telling you now. Get that. We're getting crazy. This app we're, over that side is going to be we, something. We need to talk about the list. The Epstein we list. We need Jonathan to Majors, talk fam. about Jonathan Majors. All right, let, let's, let me, let me um, just before we go over to Patreon, we're going to talk about this judge attack, bro. That video of this brother <laughs> going this after the judge, judge is one of the most insane things <laughs> I think I've ever seen, I always seen, thought the bro. judge was up high, though. I don't, I don't know how. They are. They are, bro. This guy's, so a, that's why. This guy's a whole athlete, bro. <laughs> Let's watch this clip right here. If you get a taste of something else, because I just can't with that history. In accordance with the laws of state of Nevada, this court. Oh, 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 hey! Oh, 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 let, let me let me run this one more time. Is it me, or was she just not hold completely hold surprised? It seemed like. Hold on, hold on. Take that, but I think it's bitch. time that you get a taste of it. He had to bitch. It's time you get a taste. That history. In accordance with the laws of state of this court. Oh, 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 hey. At the oh, airtime. Hey, hey, hey. Man, them are sleeping on WWE. the airtime. Bro, he was really in the WWE. air. WWE. His it's talents a- have not been realized. It's you know what? That showed me. Waste of potential. Waste of potential. He, there's so many other things. High jump. American football. High jump. In American football. Basketball. You know, and it's in what you got to say, he's got the clutch gene because he had one shot at that. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's he, hang time. You know that? It's the buzzer beater fam. Bro. How did he get to her? Egregious. Att- he sat there and he thought, you know what? You know, you, and the thing is, he looked at her and he kind of just looked around and just took in his surroundings and said, you know what? None of these security guys are going to be fast enough to get to me. So with that. <laughs> but it's the dive. It's I, the, that's called a swan tom bomb. A swan tom That's bomb. a swan tom bomb, bro. All that needed was JR. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, King. <laughs> but you're missing the fact that whilst he gets over there, he's still fast enough to get up and let some shots go. Oh, he lets shots off. Bro, I'm looking at this whole thing and I'm thinking to myself, oh man, you are going to be in jail forever. Ever. You cannot treat They Susan will like not that. be able to give you enough life sentences. They Susan. can't wait to slam. Susan? Bro. You did that to the judge? Judge Karen. J- judge. Judge Karen is about to be like, listen, is there a way we can keep him alive for 300 years? And, st- and he does the whole, for the whole 300. <laughs> and just bring him back to, you know, when you go to, um, you know, when he got discussed, if you're allowed out, I can't remember what it's called, but you know, them hearings anyway. He mm. ain't getting... Did you see how he went oh, back? Oh, the parole. Did you see the picture of him going back? Yeah, Bro, they, they got him just like Hannibal Lecter. They got him muzzled heavy, He's bro. He's Hannibal Lecter, fam. Strong He's muzzled. looking like an XL bully, fam. They got him in there. That's an <laughs> XL bully. A marginalised group now. Yeah, and he's got like orange bits on as well. No, it's disgusting. <laughs> Them man said, you're going to wear these little soft puff puff gloves so that way we can... <laughs> <laughs> and the man was standing either side of him like, I beg you, bro. I Flinch. beg you. Breathe right. too, too fast. Yeah. I I don't even know if we're doing this another. We're going over the Patreon. 
We should know. Nah, we can get one, 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 one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Well, this, this is a thing about. I saw a clip here. Um, it's a, it's like the trailer for the Thierry Henry sit down with Stephen Bartlett. Shout out to Stephen Bartlett. I'm a fan in it. That's why I'll be, I'll be I'll locked be into sure, his yeah. content, bro. So you know, just before I tell you, about do you know this. he's on the he's actually on the board of you. <laughs> of course he is. Didn't know that you he's thought you were just board. plugging that thing for no know. reason. I didn't know that he's on the board, bro. And that's the that's the thing about that drink that I love. Uh, what it is? It's. Uh, <laughs> And we got a new complex flavors. <laughs> Easy with my lifestyle. Nah, but this is um, Tia and me sitting down with um, si- um, Stephen Bartlett, and it's just one of those conversations that really. Let me just play the clip, and then we can we can react to it. You, what would I? Have- I was lying for a very long time because society wasn't ready to hear what I had to say. But I will be honest with you, I was. Tia Henry, record breaker, <laughs> history maker. Arsenal's record goal scorer. Throughout my career, I must have been in depression. Did I do something about it? No. But to understand the person that I became, you have to understand what happened early. When I was young, I didn't see a lot of love, affection, hugging. My dad, the first time he took me in his arms, said, this baby will be an amazing football player. And from that point, I was programmed to succeed. My dad took control of my body and it was tough. One day, we played a game, I was 13 years old. We won the game 6-0, I scored six goals. But it was always what I didn't do. You miss that control, you miss that cross, you miss that this, you miss that that. And it can make you or break you. I decided that it was going to make me. I wasn't scared of failure. You're gonna fail. That's what shapes you. But I was more scared not to please people. Even when you were playing at Arsenal and you were winning golden boots and the Invincibles, you were still trying to please your dad. Yeah. But were you happy? Everyone. Oof. So long you think what you're doing is to please others. Football, money. We have a roof, but then I was about to leave again. My girlfriend, the kids, everybody starts to cry. And for the first time, I realized they were crying for me. Not the football player, not the accolades. And I felt human. If I was watching you, what would I have seen? Me crying almost every day. But it was the young Thierry. What was he crying for? Um, Yo, Bartlett, that's that touch. Hey, Bartlett is felt good. That. Bartlett's amazing. Bartlett bro. is good, isn't it? When he's in his back, bro. Are you, he knows are you crying? To, have you, have you, you have to cry. I'm oh. getting there to cry. I'm going there prepared. Tears. I don't. I don't know, bro. I'll be. I'll be there locked in. Like, go on. Let me see what you can do, bro. <laughs> Before you leave, be like, it's part of the show, fam. Oh, uh, not the glasses <laughs> up as well. When you, bro, when the glass, <laughs> when the glasses get out, bro. bro when you see man getting stiff. <laughs> Ah. I might even come out of it like. Mm, mm. <laughs> is, I, th- I think with him, you're one blink away from being finished. Oh, bro! No, because he knows he's got, he's got, he's got the, he's done the research, bro. I love so when he, he knows the triggering point. The, the one who uh, <laughs> listen to sounds like messed up thing to say. I love when he brings on Jordan Peterson, fam, because Jordan Peterson, he's another one that's on that the verge. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> certain times he gets into it. You look at him like he's gonna go. Yeah, he's gonna go. Then he doesn't. And then he does and he's like, ah, I knew it was coming. <laughs> but no, like that conversation there for Henri, it's like, it brings me to a point where I think we, there's a level of greatness and mastery that comes hand in hand with the trauma and the damage along the way. And I, I struggle to see a case where you get that desire and that hunger and that absolute relentlessness without the unfortunate part that might leave you needing some therapy. My trauma drives me. Mm. Absolutely, I would. I, I'd be lying if I said it didn't. Mm. It's a big driver, like it's, and it's in. It's all throughout. Because sometimes I'm like, if you make it easy, yeah. there's something driving. There's a driving force that, like, and before it we used to. It's so weird. Like, it's mad. It's Patreon. That's that's what it is, really. Let's let's be honest. We'll, yeah. Let's pick this up on Patreon. We're going over there. Yeah. We're it's about over. to get deep. I can yeah, feel yeah, it. I can yeah, feel yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> So what yeah. do you do though? Do we let's go, guys? Yeah, we're going over to Patreon for this conversation, man. Um, please hit the link in the bio. Join us over there. Yeah, you won't regret it. It's about to be a real one. I can sense it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. All right. Do we need to say when you go over? Welcome. To Patreon, yeah. Yeah. That, welcome. That, yeah. No, but I mean that to tell people that they need to actually be a a member, a paid member. You can't just yeah. Let's let's do that. Yeah. So. Uh, what do you, yeah, yeah, because I see people yeah. m- m- like joining. And like, so guys, great, but 
Join us over there uh, on Patreon right now. Hit the link and become a member. Uh, Four pounds a month. You get all the exclusive content, the ad- additional content, and we're gearing up for some wild stuff this year. They're supporting what we will and, say. And, yeah. It's just supporting the growth of what we're trying to do on 100%. the channel. We want to do some amazing things. But we won't be able to do it without your support. So yeah. it will go a long way. This is um, getting rid of the big tech and major companies and saying we're going to do it ourselves. Straight really. direct. So with you guys helping out, it'll make a big difference. So that's why we've done this. 100%. And it's less than the price of one of Travis's coffees. Mm. It really is. So you're buying Travis, well, like half a coffee every every month. Half a coffee. It's not bad. Half a blonde roasted latte. Shut oh, look. Listen, yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You forgot Listen. something though. There's one thing you made, a shot of um, uh, shot of espresso and caramel, ain't it? Caramel, Sun, yeah. Oh milk. Yeah. I've oh. cut out the brown sugars though. Get oh. me. Me and yeah, new me. Come on, let them know. Anyway, listen now. But on this conversation with um, back to your own read. Are we about to start?